Peace on Earth. It's something that humanity has wanted for pretty much ever, but just hasn't been able to get. But in 1963, the Catholic Church released an article called Pachamenteris, or Peace on Earth, that was the Catholic Church's solution and plan to peace on Earth. Pachamenteris was released on April 11, 1963, by Pope John XXIII. This was at the height of the Cold War, the conflict between the United States and Russia which threatened the world as we know with nuclear Armageddon. So the question is, how do you attain world peace from such an angry and peaceful and fearful world? The answer has three parts. <laughs> it starts at the bottom. For the nations to be peaceful, the people within them have to be peaceful as well. They must have all of their basic human rights cared for, without question, but they must also be educated on what their rights and responsibilities as a human being are. They have to work together to uphold these. Second, governments. Governments are an extension of God's work of order, so they are good. People need to work together through their government to make their country and nation the best they can be. Governments that hurt or work against the people in the furthering of their nation have no business calling themselves governments, since they do not further God's overarching will of the salvation of mankind. The laws must be upheld, but never at the expense of morality or God. When the people in the government are united in har harmony and co the common goal of amelioration, they can begin the final phase, international peace. Nations should apply the morals and responsibilities of its individuals to themselves. Big guys should help little guys. Nations should settle disputes not by war, but by m mature discussion of do on dues and mistakes on all sides. Minorities in smaller nations should be represented and protected as should immigrants and workers, and countries should work together to make the common standards of living satisfactory and equitable. Finally, the biggest challenge, disarmament. Since, country, excuse me, since countries must do this simultaneously, they must find common ground and, indeed, and agree to do the procedure. So to recap, <clears throat> now it's impossible to mention that throughout all this, the basic function is God. God is absolutely and totally necessary to attain peace on earth, because all those rights and responsibilities that were mentioned before all come from him. So the basis on which the basis of this plan is made is God and all, all of his work. Like as depicted here. So to recap, phase one, individuals must understand and uphold their rights and responsibilities of a nation in a nation. The second phase, this upholding an understanding of responsibilities is transferred to the government. Governments and bodies of individuals upholding their responsibilities to their people. In the final phase, countries, with the nation and government combined, must uphold their rights and responsibilities to other nations of the world. If this plan is followed, humanity will be able to reap the benefits of a lasting peace.